Like many small Midwestern towns, Newton, Iowa has seen some hard times lately. But don't be confused by the gray November sky. Things are looking up for Newton. A brand new factory humming with activity is breathing new life and promise into the community. Do you have people lining up? to work here? Yeah, we currently have uh, several thousand applications for the few hundred remaining jobs we have open. It's an amazing turnaround for Newton, closely identified for a century with Maytag and its array of appliances. At its peak, Maytag employed one out of every five residents here. But a year ago, the Maytag plant closed and 1,800 jobs were lost. Failure was in the air. We worked so hard to keep that company alive, you know, and, and it seemed like you worked harder and harder as time continued, yet you could just see it, it was closing down. Today, 18-year Maytag veteran Rick Miller works for TPI, the new company in town, making blades for new high-tech windmills. When I left Maytag, I didn't think that I would probably ever get back into the manufacturing area again. The current economic downturn may have dented enthusiasm for alternative energy resources, but not in Newton. Not only is this new plant operating, but the once dormant Maytag factory itself has come to life too. A second company there has brought more jobs to town, making the foundations for those windmills from TPI. It makes you feel like you're just doing the right thing for your country, the right thing for the community, the right thing for you know, yourself and the business. But the idea of having those jobs here in Newton builds everybody's confidence that, that we're gonna get out of this. And it's unlikely any of these new jobs will be outsourced one day because shipping one of these huge 130 foot long blades from a foreign manufacturer all the way to the United States would be simply too expensive. So they'll be built here in America by Americans. In Newton these days, change is in the wind. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Newton, Iowa.